the interesting thing is, I should probably try that again. I just gotta hit... Hmm, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do to that. I don't know what I'm gonna do with anything. I'm not very good at the ossuary. Most of the enemies there just kind of ruined me. Because uh, I'm used to be them being much slower and hitting much, much lighter. Uh, and now they hit like seven trucks taped together and it's like... Mm, not sure. Not sure how I want to work with this. Now, let's see what skills I get along the way. Let's see, do we know what the big door is? Yeah, I know, the big door up above is just time trials. I'm sure there's a reason why... I'm sure there's a reason why you want to use it, but... Um, I mean, I can barely even beat this game, let alone do a ta time trial. Let's see. Kind of wish I could wait on this one. Let's go tactics. Because, yeah, look at... Okay. These are some options. Flashbang, knife storm. This should be good. And knife storm's not as powerful as it used to be. But it's better. Okay, quick bow. Yeah, we'll get the quick bow instead of the force shield. Cannot be sold. Don't care too much about this. Oh, cool. I can just kind of sort of... Wait, can you just hold down? That's awesome. I didn't realize you could just hold down uh, shots with a quick bow. That's... That's awesome. Okay, so let's let's keep pumping tactics. Oil grenade. Uh, instead of the flashbang. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll do that because the oil grenade uh, factors perfectly in with my setup, ish. I really wish oil grenade scaled with uh with tactics as well. It's almost like probably one of the most tactical skills in the game, just because. You know, you want to put the oil down before you start hitting them with fire. It makes sense to have it be brutality just because it, you know, there's so many fire based abilities. Oh well. Anyway, 160 damage. I probably want to go with the uh, quick bow just because double notch bow is kind of interesting. Shots. Shoots two arrows at one shots. Pierce that. Nah. Hi. But yeah, oil oil grenade's gonna work way better for this. And it's not like it's gonna scale too terribly. Plus, I assume that... Well, does damage per second count? Uh, does the damage per second buff work for... Uh, for skills as well? Holy shit, the range on oil grenade. I actually didn't even recognize that at first. But yeah, it's going to, at the very least, it's going to make my, my flame torrent just crit constantly. Which is worth it in, in its own account. I'll just roll brutality as my secondary. And if this doesn't work, I don't know what's going to... I don't know. We'll find out. Okay. Nope. Let's get up. What do we got up here? Anything? Just a shield that I don't care about. Let me see. So there's the four shield which I left behind. Velmont's whip. Not gonna get me anything new. Cool. Color of that fire looks sick. Yeah! The uh, special effects, I mean the artistry in this game is generally just beautiful. I'd say Children of Morta and like Hyperlight Drifter beat it out, but as far as like uh, fidelity for pixel art goes, this is this ranks up pretty damn high. All right, one mutation available. Do we get the cooldown delay or no? Let's let's go DPS when I'm near a uh, deployed skill. Hopefully that includes the uh, oil grenade. Ah. 
Let's see. Wonder what anime are you watching this season? Not much. I was kind of watching Franks, but it was kind of weird. Ow. Oh, I'm dying. I was kind of hoping that I'd kill them before they reached me. I'm kind of like a... I'm not going to say like a fair weather anime fan, but like, I will watch anime occasionally. But not always. And only if it like really catches my eye. I'm more of a like, uh, binge an anime all the way to the very end. What I've been watching instead of like anime right now is I've actually been watching a uh, bunch of Let's Plays this this winter. Specifically, uh, Shell and I spent a couple hours last night watching uh, Chip, I Chip and Ironicus's playthrough of Uncharted 4, uh, which is good. I really want to do a series on the Uncharted games. I know I'm like totally spoiling myself on them at this point, but I'd absolutely love to. I would absolutely love to, uh... Okay, Oil Grenade is sadly not a deployed skill. Well then, I guess I'll reset that, maybe? I'm I'm not entirely sure. You're missing a gold-gaining item. You missed it. You passed it at the beginning. Uh, really? Oh, come on! There's two of these? I was really hoping the oil grenade would count as a deployment. I'll probably switch it out and stuff. Once I get something better. Or, well, I guess once we get the next chance. I should have... Yeah, I, I will definitely have the money to replace it. So we can just kind of... Progress. Oh, I feel like... Coming down here is going to be one of those where it's like, you can't make it. Oh, no. There's at least some reason to come here. Well, there's the oil sword, but I kind of don't want it. Yeah, no, none of this is particularly... None of this is particularly helpful for me. The oiled sword would be nice, but we've already got the oil grenade. So I think I'm just going to... I think I'm just going to skip it. Yeah, so I'll probably reset, get the, uh, get the bonus health, and then cool down. Because we have an elite grenadier. Ow. Oh. Okay. This is scary. I'm more, more or less just letting the fire kill him because I can't. And we get a necklace. Tactics plus one, all damage taken, collect cells and gold. Yes. Cool. So yeah, what gold gaining item was I missing? That That is kind of the... I really didn't think that would have the range to hit me there. Uh, that, that is a kind of a classic example of uh, telling me something without actually telling me anything. It's like, you're, miss you're missing your pants. And it's like, what? What do you even mean? I'm wearing my pants. Or like, don't forget about the gobbledygook. And it's like, what the hell is a gobbledygook? You gotta explain, man. Otherwise, I'm just going to ignore you. Double notch bow with quick bow is a winning combo. You know, I never actually thought about that, but that is a good point. Okay, a purple gem that's directly money. You can see it on the map. Oh, okay. I thought you meant like uh, an amulet or whatever that increases the amount of stuff. Because, yeah, uh, just telling me you're missing blank is not immediately helpful, but like... Uh, you went past a gem. That's a little bit more, uh, more helpful, because it means I need to go back and take a look. Oosh. Still wish I could move while I was flamethrowing, honestly. Okay. Higher level of knife storm? Sure. Oh. Uh, actually, you know... Ooh, 
let me see. So I could actually do double knife storm instead of the oil grenade nonsense. Might not be a bad idea. But no. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go with that. Let's burn this one. Ice grenade? Nah. Ceiling turret? Nah. It would synergize, but I don't wanna... Yeah, the, the problem with, uh, telling me where to go and what to do... Oh yeah, I just did run straight past a gem. I probably broke it when I opened the door. Uh, the problem with, you know, telling me, like, what I missed and where I missed it... ...is it's super hard for me to understand. Uh, if... If you were sitting directly over my shoulder, I guess it wasn't a secret, I just... ...guess I ignored it. Um... If you were, like, sitting directly behind me and it's like, Hey, Wander, you just missed a purple thing. It's, it makes, like, total sense, because I'm right there. Um, I'm right there, and, uh, and, like, it's super easy to communicate with me. But because I am baseline, uh, elsewhere, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, at, I'm playing this game 15, on a 15 second time delay. I really hate these ninja things, because I can't hit them well enough. There's a little bit of a charge up on this weapon, and it's annoying. Um, but so... When, uh, when giving advice to streamers, you really want to make sure that, uh... You really want to make sure that, uh... That the advice is, like, more specific. Because oftentimes, they will have no idea what you're talking about, because... You know, they're... they're not where you were. It's like, uh, somebody saying, take a left. It's like, when? 15 seconds ago? Or, like, coming up? And stuff like that. And, you know, I don't mean this to be pissy, just like, this is the sad fact of reality for me. It's like, I don't even know what people are talking about sometimes. I get really confused. It's like, you missed something. It's like, where? Where, when? But yeah, that, that was my fault. I totally just walked past it. Let's see. Uh, I'm just gonna grab the infantry sh grenade. Oh, I have to replace something. I just want to sell it and stuff. I actually have the same problem with my dad. My dad is, for all of his, uh, for all of his like, uh, you know, intelligence and you know, wisdom and whatever, he's really bad at giving directions in a car. So he's like. You might want to get off on the next, uh, you know, one of the next couple exits, and it's like, that is about as useless as you can possibly get, because, like, what does that mean? Should I just take this one? And he's like, well, you could, you could, or you could wait a little bit. And it's like, no, no, shut up, just tell me where to go. <laughs> you have a map. What is, what is with this, like, vague nonsense? You don't, you don't do that when na navigating. And, uh, oh, <laughs> my dad is... What? In his late 50s and stuff. He's been doing this for years. Like, uh, I think one of the first times I ever heard my parents fight was because my dad was vague, vague gating. Vague navigating? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Vague gating? That just sounds sketchy, no matter how I say it. So let's not go with that. Um, but, you know, he was navigating super vaguely, and my mother was just furious, furious at him. And, like, he wasn't getting the hints. He's like, uh, you know, just, just navigate, just tell me where to go. And he's just like, well, you might, <laughs> my mother, oh, my mother was mad. It doesn't happen often. But it is an amusing thing to see. Okay, so let's reset my mutations. It's pricey. Let's get cooldown reduction. Yeah, I'm not near any deployed skills anyway, so let's get some max health here. Yeah, 514. Yeah, whereas with Shell, with navigating, I'm a hardliner and I think she needs uh, something more. And I'm like, all right, you got to get over like two lanes right now. And she's like, I can't do that. And I'm like, get over. And she's like, no. And then we spend an extra like 40 minutes driving because uh, it was hard to come over. I remember you.
Okay, that'll help. Oh, that'll help a bunch. Just trying to set that on fire. Well, that's fine. This would be a little bit harder. This is why we walk everywhere? Nah. Yeah, this weapon is really satisfying, but it just never quite has the, uh, it, it takes a little bit too long to, to swing. For my taste, unfortunately. Well, we'll see. But no, with Shell and I, our navigations aren't so bad. It's just like, uh, every once in a while, uh, there's a lot of, like, uh, driving things that aren't, like, everywhere in the country. So, I think the first time we ever encountered a roundabout, I think in general, I think roundabouts still concern Shell, as they are, well, unknown entities and very hard to go around. And I, to be fair, roundabouts are, like, evil. First time I, I ever really ran into a roundabout, we were going down to, I want to say it was Cape Cod. Oop, that's a bad... We we're going down to Cape Cod. Uh, I think we we're going. We we're going to Plymouth. Uh, the like Plymouth Recreation, uh, wherever the heck that is, has been a while. Uh, and some lady in an SUV more or less almost rammed us, uh, and then stopped right in front of our car so that she could roll down her window, give us the finger, and yell at us for not knowing how to drive. Uh, in Massachusetts, which apparently means uh, we didn't give her right away, despite the fact that she was a goddamn idiot and didn't know how to didn't know how to use a roundabout herself. Uh. <gasps> oh, that sucked. That was so close too. I guess I'll just have to bleed kill him, honestly. Yeah, let's heal up. Who will I beat playing Vermintide with? Whomever. As long as it's, uh... Not too much of an issue. Okay. It's, ow! Oh! One HP! Got him. Okay. Uh, brutality tactics, damage from projectiles. Sure. Better than what I have. Cripes. That sucked. Yeah, the protection from death perk would be nice but I never want to go with it. Come on! Uh. This is, uh, rough. Because I'm almost out of heals. Grab this. Then I'm gonna get this first. That's a ton of HP. The elite might not be so bad. I'm just gonna set everything on fire from afar. Nice part is the oil grenade kind of self-perpetuates. So I can just kind of do whatever. Okay. Bunch of dudes, a lot of fire. Oh. Boop, boop. That guy was rolling a little bit further than I wanted him to. That's fine. Yeah, I really wish I, uh, the animation to do the flame jet was just a little bit faster. Just a smidge. Well, I guess I'll just kill this guy the really slow way. Don't know how else I'm supposed to do it. Enough money near the sarcophagus. Eh. Money. Oh, 
Okay. I'm just taking super cheese tactics because how the hell else am I supposed to beat half of this right now? I guess I could actually use my quick bow now that I'm thinking about it. I do have it. Hi. I'm just gonna be up on this ladder if you don't mind. Oh, we just got a cool new thing! New thing! I think I've actually got this before, the crusher. Yeah, I already had that blueprint. Weird. Doesn't matter. We. You can't stop me, I got fire! I'm... Ah, come on! Just spawned it directly behind me. How bad it would be if fire did self damage. I would uh I would not be able to win this game if I if I could self harm with fire. Like straight up couldn't win. Let's see, do we get ah we get some pie. Pie is very welcome right now. Okay, uh let's see, do I get more HP? Yeah, let's just keep pumping the HP right now. We desperately need it. Come on! I hate these lightning things. Because they, they just kind of stun you in place while you're running. You can ignite the oil with my ground slam, by the way. Oh, good to know. Okay, well, let's just grab the small amount of dosh. Ah, oh, you were right. So I can. Oh, they have too much HP. For this. See, what flavor is the pie? I don't know. Pie flavor. Let's see, what else do we got? Um, well, we found it. I'm gonna look around for a little bit more. There's gotta be something more than this. Uh, let's see. We've got that, but I don't know if I can go up here. Uh... No, we can go somewhere with, with this. Right, don't stand underneath the elevator. It actually does crush you to death. Okay, so fire grenades, not so great. Death orb. Extra damage on a burning target Yeah, it's good, but what do I get it instead of? Like, I feel like it's probably best to get rid of the oil grenade at this point. I like it, but it's not making this run that much better. Yeah. Death is better than bow. I can't, I can't equip it over the bow. I wish I could. I'm not using the bow for anything. Let's see, I skipped a teleporter too, I think. Okay, I'll go back and double check. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get to this teleporter. Oh. I never went this way. Okay, so that's some damage. I do miss the oil grenade, because it was helpful. I need torches. Okay. 
kind of stressed because I don't have a whole lot of HP here. Let's see. Impaler, electric whip, lightning bolt. Eh. None of these are particularly helpful. I want to heal, but I don't know how much is going to heal me. I was hoping I could get a little bit more pie. How long is this level? I keep expecting this hallway to end. Oh, hey. Okay, more health. I got a ton of health. Let's go damage at this point. I know it doesn't have the... Oh, it does have the fire. Oh, right. It sort of has the fire. There's more to this than I thought there was going to be. Well, that's okay. I'm just gonna... Cheese tactics. Cheese tactics don't save me. It seems like just popping both of those works better. If only the uh, lightning did bonus damage to bleed. Alright, well this is probably a fine time to drink this. Yep. Good that I waited, unfortunately. Can't heal, but that's fine. Yeah, these, these do enough damage together. See, I'm gonna do a cheating run in this game. Probably not. I don't cheat that often. Uh, especially when I'm, like, relearning a game. The times I only really ever bother cheating uh, in a run... Let me guess. New, it's over here. The only, uh, the only runs where I, like, specifically do cheat runs, I think are the ones where, like, I'm just so sick of the game and need, like, a, a break. Uh, or I'm so done with the game that, like, who cares? Okay, reduce cooldown reduction or another 27% health. Let's keep doing cooldown reduction. Hello! Is he dead? No, he's not dead. Hoop! That was terrifying! What's better? Poison? No. Let's just get rid of that. Those are worth tons of money! Holy crap! Also, holy crap! I mean, we got lucky there because we just wrecked that guy, but... Ugh. Okay, damage to a burning target. Enemies burn when they die. Meat Grinder 5 over Knife Storm 3. Yeah, I'm gonna go Meat Grinder. Probably. What do we what do you guys think? Meat Grinder or uh Knife Storm? Cause the Meat Grinder just baseline is going to do more damage. It works with burning. Both do bleeding. The the Meat Grinder lets you cheese stuff better. That is a good point. Okay, we'll go with that. And part of it is the Knife Storm is, uh, outdated. Holy crap, yeah, that is way more effective. Trap somebody on that Meat Grinder and they, they're going to take tons of damage. Admittedly, I'm not burning him. But yeah, double double damage while on the meat grinder. If only the meat grinder was a little bit bigger. Okay, so that's it for this level, it looks like. There's phaser. There's this, but that's the hell room. 
Well, time to go to Hell Room. Let's see how this goes. I believe in myself, kind of, sort of, not really. Got him. Okay, and we get an unknown artifact. Yeah, all we needed was the uh, right combo. Okay, this room permanently gives you the ability to break through fragile ground. Cool. We've opened a door, and what else do we have down here? Anything? Nothing? Random room. Nothing else. Well, were there any more breakable floor businesses anywhere? Because I should probably check that. Because it's not there. Might be something over to the right here. We'll see how this goes. Oh, this controller's starting to get a bit creaky. I still don't know how to get to that. Oh. That's how we get there. Also, it's secret, right there. Huh. Frost Blast. You know, Frost Blast is actually really helpful. Let's get rid of the Quick Bow, just because Quick Bow is really outdated. Uh, Frost Blast, well, it doesn't really work with the fire combo. Uh, it will let me set up my... It will let me set up my combos better. Oh, you can even see, like, a line connecting the, uh, teleporters. That's helpful. Alright, so we're almost done here. Okay, did we did we kill everyone? We killed everyone. I don't know why I needed to come in here specifically, but this works. This is much slower, but this is it's fine. Oh, more secrets. I'll keep checking it out. Small denominations cash. Not exactly. Uh, eh, whatever. Okay. I don't think I actually... There was something over here. Oh, Blackbridge. Well, Blackbridge it is. Oh, jeez. Okay, Crusher. Crusher's enemy is in the area of effect. I'll just grab it. I don't know if any of these are any good. I'm just going to get it for a second. So what's it do? Okay. I'm probably going to get the meat grinder over the Crusher. Okay, and I have one more mutation. Oh, so I get a third. Hmm. I'm not actually sure which one I want to get. No, the Crusher is so good. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, oh well, too late. Actually, let's get the damage while I'm near a deployed skill, because I bet the meat grinder counts. Oh, right. Gotta get my regeneration back. I got a ton of money, too. This should be kind of sort of fine. I hope. Oh, jeez, I've been playing this for two and a half hours. That's 11. Might be a good time to switch soon. Take that shield off. Come on. I really hate his, like, his dumb shield. It's more annoying than anything else. Okay, pop the shield. What I gotta do is actually pop it a little bit better. We'll, we'll see. Come on, just stand right there. Well, I'm kind of demolishing him. The problem is he's mobile, which is a nuisance. It might almost just be better that I... Ow. Okay, that hurts. It might almost be better that I just use my, uh... Fire to kill him instead. We'll, we'll see. And we got the blueprint for tranquility. Sure.
Yeah, so I think I'll switch after this one. So what can I upgrade? Because I should probably actually prioritize this as opposed to unlocking new, new features. Death Orb is good. I'm using a lot of fire. Oh, this is going to take forever. What do we want to invest in? I mean, otherwise I could actually start investing in the next run. But I don't know what I'd invest in. What's a weapon that I use constantly? That I want upgrades for? I mean, I think that almost the rapier would be the... Uh, would be the gimme option. I'm going to just put some cells into that. Okay. Extra damage. Well, there are no enemies nearby. That's interesting. Let's see. And we're maxed out on perks. And I can't get up there yet. Let's keep going. Yeah, I'm just like the most uncomfortable person today. It's just not fun. Oh. Not that big of a deal. Unfortunately... Everything doesn't seem to be working for me. My microphone is kind of wiggly. And my controller is starting to get creaky. Oh. Okay. Gotta be very, very aware of that guy. Luckily, my combos do enough damage that I can just... Oh. Hi. Hi. Luckily, I can just uh, rely on my combo to more or less wreck things for me. Hopefully, I get, like, torches or something. I can never get those speed uh, speed bonuses. Hopefully, I get, like, uh, the flingable torches or something as a... Uh... As a, uh, like, a new, new weapon, because I have not actually seen a replacement for what I've got. Ow. We're taking some hefty damage here. Let's see, those guys don't teleport to you, right? Yeah, doesn't look like it. I'm just going to be sitting here burning. Come on. I'm right here. Don't mind me. Don't mind the fire. They minded the fire. And the fire won. Surprising no one. Stay oh, it's got a lot more range than I always think it's going to. I'm just going to keep him there. If we did extra damage based on bleed, this would be an even more powerful setup, honestly. Okay, Magnet Grenade or Blood Shield 4. You know, I'm going to get rid of the Death Orb, I think. Yeah. Let's get rid of the uh, Death Orb for Magnetic Grenade 4. It's not as great, but my logic is I can combo it with a Meat Grinder. Because partly, partly uh, yeah, I could keep using the Death Orb, but it's not as powerful as it used to be. Huh. I think I probably should have waited on that one a little bit. There we go. See, that works a little bit better. I just have to get the placement not crap. Because that affor effectively forces them to be inside, uh, inside the death zone. And works pretty damn well. I just gotta make sure I don't miss. Also, it looks like it affects cannonballs. Which is kind of awesome, actually. Remember the days where you, uh, there was that damage booster spell that you could get? It would, like, crank up your damage like nobody's business. Let's get the throwing knife over the frost blast. Frost blast really isn't that helpful here. Uh, but you could crank up your damage. You're just flat DPS. And it would apply to... It would, uh... Not apply to. It would... 
Uh, it would apply to every spell effect. So you could apply it to the magnetic grenade, and it would do, like, stupid amounts of damage. It was great. Missed those days. This is fine, though. I just kind of keep hanging out there. Don't mind. Don't mind it. I'm not even fighting at this point. Just pure cowardice and letting my moves fight for me. We're going to be in trouble uh, when we get to the Watcher, though. Now that I'm thinking about it, the Watcher is going to be a issue. Well, no, the Watcher moved, didn't he? Or no, maybe he didn't move. I t it's been too long. Oh, so I can just break those now. Cool. I'm not sure if breaking that was particularly helpful, but still. I've already been in this, right? Yeah. Oh, the Watcher did move. Okay. Oh, right. Yeah, because I don't have enough jumps, so I can't bypass that. Pretty effective. Unfortunately, the magnetic grenade is... Oh, it's a red only. Well, it's fine. It, it works for what I'm doing. I'll probably replace this whole combo. I just wanted to try it for once. Because the idea of it is really fun. And fairly effective. Because, like, it even screws over those cannonballs. So I don't even have to fight stuff particularly... Bombats. Bombats are scary. Oh, he's still alive. I thought he was dead. He must have uh he must have burnt through the last of the He must have burnt through the last of the or the the meat grinder. See did I forget a level up somewhere? I don't think I did. Can you guys remind me? Because I, I totally could have forgotten. Along the way here. While I wasn't paying attention. It is pretty constant for me to forget things. Okay. It's weird that the grenades fly farther than the deploy- No, it's not weirder. This is kind of unfortunate. It breaks the combo a little bit. Have done that a little bit better. There we go. I might actually get the uh, the healing ability now that I'm thinking about it. If we see it, if we come, if we get access to the uh, the ability heal, uh, then I'll go for it. Because there's there's a move that makes it so that your attacks heal heal you. I think. Oh, hi. Wow. Don't usually get that from those guys. Uh, let's see. Do I get some amount of health, or do I just keep pumping damage? Let's keep getting some amount of health. Yeah, that was worth. Should probably actually use these daggers now that I'm thinking about it. They're probably not bad. Yeah, they're pretty good for uh, bleed damage. Huh. I don't know if those gas clouds are something I have to worry about. I don't know. Okay, whatever. And this guy. You know, I'm gonna risk it. Okay, so same deal as usual. Let's get tactics. Don't care too much about the broadsword, so we'll just burn that. Let's go back to the beginning. So this might kill me. Might. Start by making it easy on myself. That's not going to make it easier on myself. Hmm. 
There we go. So I can just let that happen. Let's see, and enemies can't do fire effects on the ground. Okay, three more. There's a bunch of these pustule things all over the place. There we go, curse lifted. Oh. They're a little scary, but we're good. Does my daggers have poison on kill? Uh, yes, toxic cloud. Uh, toxic clown. Wow, toxic cloud. That is the that is the word. That is the that is the thing. Yeah, that's actually those are pretty good daggers. Let's see. And extra damage on a poison target, too. Like, they themselves are... Kind of... They're kind of a self-buffing item. Oops. I got stunned. I guess I fell too far. Weird. Didn't feel like it did. Guess so. But yeah, I'll have to use the dagger some more. Yeah, wander sometimes words. Always sometimes wander bot. I've heard about that game. I've never played it. I wonder if it's any good. Always sometimes monsters. I don't know. Later. Damage over time run. If only it would reliably do the uh, the poison effect. I, w I would do... I'd love to do a, like a poison gas run at some point. I actually really wish you could... Uh, I really wish you could actually... Ah! Uh, I really wish you could do like a... a I guess I should probably give um, context for this. I don't know how many of you guys have played Divinity Original Sin 2. It's an absolutely amazing game. There we go. Uh, we're... Like, I don't know. It's just extremely well done. But one of my favorite things about the game. Critical blow when you strike close range. Shots pierce the first target. I don't know if the infantry bow is better than the dagger, to be honest. Uh, but Divinity Original Sin 2 is really, really fun. Bow. You're saying get the bow? Okay, let's get the bow. The the daggers are kind of nice, but they don't have much for DPS. Uh, but for, Div for Divinity, you can set poison on fire or explode poison, poison gases and stuff and like a bunch of uh, really cool like tricks here and there. And like, I really wish more games had kind of those like elemental effects. Yeah, the combo effects of pyromancy in that game were amazing. And I wish you could actually do the same thing in this game. Uh, so like if I could create like a, a poison cloud and then like blow it up and so on and so forth. And I guess this game has oil, but like I want more combo effects. Let's go to the clock tower, probably get my ass kicked. See how this goes. I think I made it all of two enemies into the clock tower originally and it was not pretty. Okay, let's get Tranquility. I missed a door in the middle. Oh, uh, did I? Eh. Happens. Sorry. I am tired. My eyes are getting dry. I can pretty much... I'm going to finish this run and then I'm going to have to switch games. I love Dead Cells. It's fun. I'm glad, I'm glad to be back to it, but it's also like... I am starting to get to that uh, hour where uh, I can't play Dead Cells. That's why I wanted to play uh, some Fermentide to end the night off. I think I'm going to do a little bit of Rack first. I did say I was going to play Rack, and I know I have some people waiting for that. Or, no, no. I'm going to do Rack first, then I'll do uh, Fermentide. There we go. Brain. Brain, ability to English, multiple things. What do we got out here? I don't know. I've never been to the Clock Tower. It's interesting looking. Oh, back to the bottom. Ground Pound. Yeah, I don't know where there are... Oh, I haven't unlocked a better uh, another teleporter. Ah. Yeah, I'm not going to notice those. Please mention them as I go by. I'm like vaguely staring at this. Oh yeah, there it is. Fire grenade. N 
Yeah, I'm gonna take the fire grenade instead of the magnetic grenade at this point. Fire grenades might gonna be able to do a little bit of damage. I don't know, we'll see. Has been Heroes had cool effects. Has been Heroes is an absolute masterpiece of a roguelike, and it's always a shame that people kind of panned it as much as they did, because I don't think I've ever seen a roguelike with as cool of features as that game. If I remember right, oh, good, Cannoneer. Did they leave bombs behind, or is that me? I have no idea. Okay, those guys are going to be a problem. They're very zippy. In ways that I'm not ready for. I'm not entirely sure if the infantry boat is going to be what I need here. Manage to clear the clock tower. Please do the bell puzzle. Okay. I think the last time last time I came here was the first time I ever came here. And it uh I died, I believe, instantaneously. It was not pretty. I'm doing a little bit better this time around. I think I had the uh, times two damage set up on. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to fucking hurt these. They're just so zippy. The problem is both of my weapons have a uh, fairly hefty charge up time to them, uh, which is not helping me at all. Okay. Let's try this again. I like the music for this spot. It's neat. I rolled! I rolled you, shit! Yeah, I'm pretty much just gonna have to rely on my, my skills for this one. That's fine, though. I gotta say, critting enemies is pretty effective, though. We'll see. Okay, Canyoneer can see me already. Their backstab probably does crit damage or something ridiculous like that. Uh, how do I reach? Come back! Okay. Yeah, playing chicken with those guys seems to work pretty well. What? Oh, I was going up the ladder. I got confused. Okay, it's working a little bit better. The infantry bow ain't no slouch. Okay, gonna have to be a little bit more scared. Luckily, infantry bow kind of solves problems. I was rolling. Must have rolled too early. Well, that's fine. It was weird that there was just a totally normal archer there. Okay, anyway, so that kind of locks off this entire area. What else do we have? Weird how locked it is. So we'll find like a bunch of keys as we go along. I don't know. Yeah, now if I wonder if you can actually do double crit damage with the Probably can't. Oh! You can make the bells move. Huh. I'm not entirely sure how to think about that.
I'm really not sure how, how to think about that. Uh, let's keep pumping damage on these. This is working. Let's see. Ground pound, top teleporter where you just were. Where I got hit by the spiky ball. Okay. I'll go double check that. Ground pound near the spiky ball. Oh. Why? Just as a shortcut? I... Okay. I get the feeling that wasn't... What was intended. We've got a lot of things to unlock here. Looks like. Okay. So let's go back over here. I am, uh... Oh. Just a bunch of cells. I really wish you could actually just keep the cells with you. Like, the whole game was retooled not about... The whole thing was kind of retooled. Uh, more to be kind of Rogue Legacy style. Oh. Damn it! I was trying to drop down. I got hit twice and stunlocked. I should have healed. I was hoping I could uh, keep a little bit more there. But um, this is one thing I don't like about games. Uh, dropping down through platforms is a lot more time consuming than like going back through them. Also, there's a thing there. Um, but I was having the same problem with Dungreed actually, where like I try and duck down be below the platform and it uh, it doesn't work. How do I get out of here? There we go. Return to the main menu. Uh, and it throws me off pretty hard. Oh well, we'll keep progressing. It seems like tactics is pretty helpful. I might try brutality again. Uh, we will see. We will see.